All right, guys, and welcome to episode four of the Ipswich RTG. You guys have been insane with the support on it, and honestly, I cannot thank you enough sticking with this one. You've shown just as much love on this series as you were the Portsmouth one. I am still very gutted, but <clears throat> we move, and we are with Ipswich now, and doing very, very well, to be fair. We are sat in third. Um, obviously, episode three, we did try and get... We got through two months. We're going to try and get through... Two months, if possible, this episode, we'll see how far we'll get. We'll probably have to sim a few, or we'll try and play a few. We'll try and mix it up and try and get through so we can get to January, and then we're halfway through the season. So we've got quite a few games to get through, starting off with Cheltenham. They are 10 points behind us, so where are they in the actual league standings? They are 11th on 24 points, and we are 3rd on 34 so what we're going to do then, guys, is we will just play highlights and we'll play attack only and see if we can get the win. So we have our first attack in the 20th minute at, in midfield with Kamara. Let's see what we can do. Play this out wide to Illing. See if he can run down this wing. Not keep it in. Whew. Nearly give that ball up it's pretty quickly there. Oh, Kamara can't pass a ball straight. Okay, Cheltenham have actually scored and now we've got a counter-attack. Let's see if we can equalise before half-time. Come on, strikers. Why he's not making a run? Oh, Hurst's made a brilliant run here. Can he finish it? What? Kemp's missed it? No! We've just missed an open goal. No way. How have we done that? But Chaplin's put Hurst in again. Into a doozy. Oh, and he does score. Oh, thankfully. I thought we were going to miss that one as well. I can't, I can't believe Kemp has missed an open goal. We noobed it and still missed. That sums up this league. How have we done that? But Samuel Adouzi does get us level now. And let's see if we have any more. We do. We have another attack with 15 minutes to play. We need to... Need to do something now. Come on, players. Into Edwards. Hurst's in. Bury that. Yes! Come on, George Hurst has got us with the goal. And we are now leading this game against Cheltenham. And that is it, guys. We've won. We are victorious. 2-1 in the end over Cheltenham. It's another massive three points at home. And then we move on to the next one. All right, guys, our next game is up against Shrewsbury. And they're sat in 20th, just outside the relegation zone. So I'm actually going to try and do a quick sim here. And hopefully we can get three points. Let's see. What are we going to get? Are we going to get a win? And we do. We get a 1-0 win over Shrewsbury. We absolutely batted them. Seven shots, six chances. But we only scored one. And that was with Connor Chaplin in the 65th minute. Right, guys, our next game is against Derby. They are sitting, I think, they're quite a lot of points off us. I think they're sat in like 12th, 11th. But we are going to play the highlights again. We're going to play just attack only. And hopefully we can carry on. We've gone up to second in the table with Bolton top. They're only a point above us, so... We need to make sure we're not dropping any points. But let's get right into this one. Okay, then in the 18th minute, we have a crossing opportunity with Samuel Aduzzi. See what we can do. He plays that in Ferguson, and Ferguson buries it. What a brilliant start. What a brilliant start. These uh, attack-only highlights, they're not too bad. We can lose some, but it's not bad at all. Ferguson with another goal. He's definitely picking up form this season with his hat-trick in the last episode. And now we've got another one, a penalty against Derby. And we're going to let Ferguson take it and try and get himself a double. Let's Can we finish this? Oh, and he does. The keeper goes the right way. But Evan Ferguson, I didn't even realise Derby are down to 10 men as well. And Ferguson has doubled our lead against Derby County. He's honestly, what a bright future he's got at Ipswich. And now we've got a counter-attack in the 60th minute. Let's see if we can get another goal on this one. 
What? Eh? How? I don't. I, well, we get a win there. Derby do end up scoring in the end, but we get a 2 1 victory over them moving forward. It is a brilliant result. Guys, we have finally. We are top of the table now on 43 points. It's still very tight between Bolton and Sheffield Wednesday. But whew, we're opening up a gap between fourth, so that is brilliant. Um, but we cannot slow down now. We've played 20, and there's still a lot more games to play. Right then, guys, we are going to play this one because we are up against Bolton. They're our title challengers right now, sitting in second. So we're going to definitely play this one out, and hopefully we can get the three points. It's a massive, massive game, this one. So here goes. We are away from home as well at the Bolton Stadium. Obviously, it is in the game. And, yeah, it's going to be good to be playing at a real stadium in the game. And we've got to be careful. It's a big, big away game. And hopefully we come out victorious. Here goes then live from the Sanderson Park. If we can beat Bolton here, I think we send a massive statement to the rest of the league that we are the front runners. And we're on the attack straight away with Nathan Broadhead. Oh, the poor pass into the middle of Ferguson. Ferguson was open. Oh no, Kamara. Into the middle. He's found Hall. Into Ferguson, he strikes it. Oh, what a save from Trafford. I thought Ferguson had scored again. Keneling whipped this ball in. Anyone on the end? Hemp, what? Kemp with a power header. And Trafford again stops it inside to Kemp. To Illing Jr. Bury that. Oh, and he's put it in the side netting. That was a massive chance. It was lovely play as well. Back to Davies. Can he switch the play to Illing? What a lovely ball that was. What? No, that was the wrong pass. But we've won it back with Ferguson in the middle for Kemp. Oh, no. Ah, oh, The goal's definitely coming. We just can't seem to score. The chances we're creating are massive. But we don't quite seem about finishing them. We've got the ball back again with Kemp. Oh, he's done brilliantly well. Strike that. Oh, it's blocked. Come on, Davies. Win that header. Oh, my God. It's come through. A Kamara. In the Broadhead. And he will not miss that opportunity. Nathan Broadhead in the 42nd minute. We finally probably get the goal we deserve. And we, tri we are leading Bolton. Hopefully going into the break. It's a massive goal for Nathan Broadhead. He hasn't scored that many. Two goals in 17 matches isn't the kind of form I'm looking for my wingers. But I do like what he brings to the team. We've still managed to get the ball back. Bolton can't seem to do anything right now. Into Ferguson. Oh, and he gets blocked. Everything seems to be getting blocked right now. Every shot. Oh my god, Kemp's done brilliantly there. In the middle of Ferguson. Trafford, he looks like a decent keeper, he's kept Bolton in this game definitely because we should be like 3 or 4 nil up if it wasn't for him, oh my god Kemp's won that back, bury that, oh my god Trafford's there again, we can't seem to get it past him, we're going to look, we'll freshen it up, Kemp's played really well, we're going to bring on Joseph, um, we'll give Chaplin a run out because his form has been Picked up really well. Do we give Edwards the run out? Everyone behind the ball. Brilliant from Chaplin. Go on, Joseph. Oh, he hasn't got the pace. Every defender just seems to have 99 pace. In the 90th minute, really. But we hold out, guys, and we get a massive 1-0 victory over Bolton. This game's had everything. We were the better side throughout. And that keeper there... Is someone I'm definitely going to be looking at next season. Right, we've got another massive game against Plymouth. As to say that, actually, they're sat in eighth. They've dropped off quite a bit. We've got a three-point gap now over Sheffield Wednesday. And a four-point gap 
over Bolton and a 10 point gap to fourth so we're, we're, we're running away a little bit with the league but it is all good and I think we'll just play the highlights again for this one so oh, okay our first attack and we're 1-0 down against Plymouth Argyle let's see if we can get a goal back pretty quickly oh we didn't exactly lose the ball there we have a free kick now though in the 60th minute I don't know whether we'll give Chaplin a go you know I just don't seem to be very good at free kicks but we'll see Ooh, wasn't far away, you know. But we don't have long left. 15 minutes to try and grab an equaliser here. A doozy look for Illing Jr. Has he got the pace? Go on, no. We've only got this one chance to try and do something. Oh, a doozy though. Strike that. Oh my God, the keeper's made a save. What? Oh, and just like that, we've lost 3-0 to Plymouth Argyle and a down to 10 men. What? I, I just... There was only 10 minutes left to play. Okay, that's um, a bit of a shock. I wasn't expecting that from Plymouth. Cooper kept them in the game. They've got some very, very good players who potentially could be taken a look at. Cooper being one of them. Yeah, Cooper kept them in this game. And Ennis is another very, very good player. As if we get beat 3-0. I'm not even sure who got the red card either. We'll have to take a look if that's going to be a suspension. All right, so Edmondson got the red card. So he won't be available versus Burton Albion, who we've got coming up next. James Trafford, I got a scouting report for. 69 overall. Okay, he definitely could be someone we look at uh, going into next season because he's on loan from Manchester City what I didn't actually know um, but we've got two scout reports to take a look at before we jump into this next game we have done a month and we're into December now so let's take a look at these scout reports we've got Connor Evans from Wales he's not got good ratings neither's him Alan James definitely not Jones definitely not and Connor Flynn, nah, he's, he's not going to be good enough. His potential wasn't anyway in the 90s. And let's see what we can get from England. Mason Cortez? Cortez? We'll sign him up, see what he's like. Dylan Finch, we've got a lot of keepers. Arthur Shepard, nope. Jonathan Wilson, no. Tyler Bowman, no, his potential's not even 80. So... Hey boss, I know you've been talking about the position you're playing me in. I just wanted to say you can be even better. I don't know what position I've been playing him in, in his position. Right, so Burton Albion, where are they? Oh, it's the FA Cup. Well, just sim this one actually, guys. Um, I'm not that bothered about the FA Cup really this season. But we'll 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 do a quick sim up against Burton and see if we can get through this round. And we can't. Burton Albion do beat us in the end. Broadhead and Kemp. It's not enough to see us through. But the league is our main priority this season. We're still in the Papa John's Trophy as well. Alright, we've got Oxford United sitting in fifth. So we're going to play um, highlights again for this one. And we'll do just attack only. And let's see if we can get the three points. Right, so our first opportunity is a crossing one in the seventh minute. Nathan Broadhead needs to pick out Kemp. No, well, I don't know what happened there because Kemp was in the middle, but we've still managed to keep it. John Jules has got it now. Burns whipped that in. Back post, Evan Ferguson, and he's there. No, it's Kemp. He's there in the sixth minute. What a cross from Burns. And Kemp has got himself on the score sheet. Our very youngster, who's got potential to be special, is having one hell of a season for Ipswich. And we're leading 1-0 against Oxford. Now we've got another crossing opportunity in a similar position. Let's see if Broadhead can whip this ball in. 
into Ferguson this time and with his weak foot. Okay, third, <laughs> we've got another crossing opportunity. It's the only the 12th minute. We've got a lot of... Um, oh, is Ferguson on? I think he is. Can he finish that? Oh, and he buries it, blasts it past the keeper. And we're 2-0 up in under 20 minutes. This should be an easy win. And now we have a penalty. And Ferguson, do we let him take it? Or Kemp, they've both scored. We'll let Ferguson take it. Can he bury it? And he does with ease. 3-0 up in the 24th minute. This is turning out to be an absolute blast for Ipswich. And it should be an easy three points. Now we, in the 55th minute, a counter-attack. See, every time we've got these, we've near enough scored in every single one. What can Nathan Broadhead do? He's got the pace to go past his man. No, he hasn't. We've got another attack, though, with Kamara in midfield. Into Lewis Hall. He's going to hit that. Oh, and he skies it. But that is it, guys. We do end up winning 3 1 um, away from home against Oxford City. Oxford United, sorry. Now we've got Carlisle in the Papa John's Trophy. They are in League Two, so we will be simming this one. We'll just mix up the team a bit, give a few players a run out who haven't been playing as of late. Edwards can come in. We'll change it up. We'll bring Clark, Burgess, Clark. Hall can have a rest. We'll bring in... Ooh, where's... Humphreys, there we go. Uh, anyone else who can have a run out? We'll put a doozy up on the bench with... Uh, we'll put Burns there as well. But yeah, we'll stick with that and see. We should get a win, really, against League One Carlisle. Let's see what the result is. A 4-0 battering of Carlisle United. A doozy with a double. Joseph and then Humphreys. A doozy seems like a very good player we've brought in on loan. I'm happy with that. We move on. We should be... We're still top of the table in the uh, Papa John's Trophy. We'll see where we are in the league. We're still top with a three-point gap to Sheffield Wednesday still. We're doing um, playing highlights again, just attack only. So we're 1-0 down in the 31st minute. We do have a counter-attack with Lewis Hall. Let's see how we get on. That's just a poor ball, though. Out wide to Illing Jr. We've still managed to keep hold of it. We have swapped him onto a different wing. Broadhead is in the middle. Oh, and he's at the bar. What on earth? <coughs> Got another attack here. Can we whip that ball in? No. Oh. Kemp. Oh my god, we've missed it. Oh, we should be 2 1 up right now. Another counter attack with Kamara. Can we get a goal before half time? Gone, Kemp. What? 60th minute, we have a corner. We need to start scoring, otherwise Derby are going to beat us. We should be beating these. Go on, Illing, whip that ball in. Come on, someone on the end. Back out wide to Kamara. To Broadhead. He comes back in. Ferguson. No. <gasps> it's a penalty. Come on, Evan Ferguson has won it. Uh, no, Kemp won it, sorry. Are we going to get to take it? Yes, we are. Chaplin, who's on? I've forgotten. I'm going to give Junior a goal. I feel like he hasn't scored for us at all. Can he score the first penalty? Oh, and he does. The keeper goes the right way, but Illing Junior does put it away in the end. And it's the equaliser. Half an hour to play. Are we going to get any more opportunities to try and get the win here? Up against Dab. Okay. Just like that. Half an hour's gone and Derby have actually beat us. That's the only thing about these simming ones. You've got no control of what comes next. But I wouldn't have put it like that. 
and it's another loss on the road. Probably a loss that we shouldn't, probably didn't deserve, to be fair. But we move on, guys. We have got a three-point cushion at the top of the table, so we should be okay. If we take a look at the stats of the match, we had the more possession... Okay, it was quite a boring game. We had five shots and one chance and we scored it and that was the penalty. Sheffield Wednesday have won against Port Vale so that should mean they should be joint top. They actually go top with a better goal difference than us. I am just going to quick sim this one then against Shrewsbury. We should get the three points, surely. When we do, 2-1. Hall and a doozy on the score sheet. We did batter them. We deserved the win. For some reason, the game's a lot closer than... Probably suggests by the stats. We're still sitting in second though because uh, Sheffield Wednesday won their game as well. So now we're coming up against Cambridge and I believe they're still down the bottom. We'll take a look at where Cambridge are. Cambridge are 21st. So we have Cambridge and then Barnsley to round off December and round off this episode. Ooh, do we play? I might play this one. I might play these two, to be fair. We haven't really played that many. So we'll jump into this one then, guys, and hopefully get the three point. Out wide to Broadhead. Can he whip that ball in? Kemp in the middle. It's come back to Kamara. Chaplin went to hit that, and it got blocked. Cambridge have somehow still managed to come out with it. Oh, my God. They're actually battering us right now. What? Oh my god, what a save from Walton. They get the first major chance of the game. Go on, Broadhead. Surely you've got the pace to get past him. Into the middle. Oh, John Jules was nearly there. Into Kemp. Okay, out wide to Burns. Oh, and he gets tackled. Here's a throw in. Oh my god, what a ball to... What a cross to Broadhead. That would have been an insane goal there to pick him out from nowhere. No. Oh! No. No. This is bad. Oh my god, this is so bad. You're joking me, Joe. I... Oh! How? We don't deserve this. We've battered them. They've defended well and had a couple of chances. And now we find ourselves with 15 minutes to play. Down 1-0. Come on, Ladapo. He's not got pace to get past Jones. Chaplin's made a good run. Oh, my God, Ladapo. He's like the next Messi. In the Kamara. How wide to Burns. Inside. Yes! Oh, John Jules in the 87th minute. Oh, I thought it got saved, but it does go in. Oh, I'm, I'm celebrating like it's a win. It's still going to be a draw. It's not going to be good enough against bottom of the table. Can we get this ball back ASAP and go again? I don't know if we're going to have the time. If it is to happen, it needs to come now. Oh my god, Ladapo. No, ref! He put my shirt! Oh! How? Oh. Oh. oh, we should have just quick simmed it, we'd have got a win. My computer plays better than our play. Oh, we were sitting comfortable at the top of the table, and now we're potentially going to be. With Sheffield Wednesday two points ahead of us, it's not a lot, I know, but it just seems very tight at the top there. We've had seven draws. We've had five losses, five draws. There are only two points, though. Fleetwood. Wow. Four points off us. And then to finish this episode, guys, we're going to play the game against Barnsley. I want a massive reaction from the team because we don't deserve to be losing them sort of games. Oh, my days. We just can't get it out. Oh, and I've given him a penalty. <laughs> oh, this is bad. From now on, guys, for the rest of this season, 
any teams in the relegation fight were simming because we, we're playing them and they seem to be like they're challenging me for the title right now. Can we save this? What can Walton do? <sighs> Barnsley score with Devante Cole. I don't even want to watch it back, thanks. I need a response from the team. No. Barnsley are playing some lovely football as well. Oh, just pass that ball. No. Oh, my God. They've doubled. Doubled the lead. Right, some players need to come off. Broadhead can come on. Joseph can... I don't know what to do here. Can Joseph play as a cam? I'm going to just try something here. Mm, it's minus two. Um, I'm just going to see. No. Oh my God, yes. Joseph's done brilliantly well. No. Oh my, was the keeper saving that? You're joking me. Short corner. Into Lewis Hall. Strike that. Oh. We shouldn't have played these two games. To end the episode, it looks like it's going to be two defeats. But I tell you what, Barnsley have deserved every point in this game. They're battering us. And they've scored a third. What a goal that is. They are absolutely battering us right now. John Russell. It's a good finish as well. Brought Ladapa on. Don't know why. We're 3-0 down, so it's not going to make much of a difference. And he's been tackled again. Unless we can do something now with Ladapo. But I can't see that happening. And that is it, guys. We've been beat by the better team. Barnsley, give them their due. I don't know why they sat in near the relegation zone because that performance, for me, they should be a top team in League One, like they are in real life. But it is what it is, guys. That is going to do it for this episode. We have got through two months and the next episode is the January transfer window and hopefully look to strengthen because we can't have games like this going into the second half of the season so I just want to thank you for the support hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video subscribe so you don't miss any more episodes or content on the channel and I'll see you guys next time